All right, welcome to My Math, Your Math. We're gonna do a day in the life of a math PhD student. It is right now 8.53 a.m. on Monday, February 13th. All right, I got my contact lenses on my eyes. Now it's time to go make some breakfast. All right. Coffee. Add a little bit of milk to the eggs for the fluff. Scramble the eggs. Add some oil to the pan. All right, we got the turkey bacon, egg and cheese. We got the egg ready. And we got the coffee right here. Flip the turkey bacon. machine always takes forever to get ready. I don't know why it takes like five minutes for it to actually start pouring the coffee. Oh, there we go. Man, this turkey bacon egg and cheese sandwich hits. All right, so I finished breakfast. Today is Monday, so it's my Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule, which means I teach from 10 to 12. Sorry, I teach from 10 to 11, 11 to 12, and office hours from 12.30 to 1.30. Let's see how this goes. Got to make sure the beard is combed. And um, I was going to go over 7.1, 7.2, and 7.3 today. So I was pulling problems from the review section. So 7.1. Alright, example one. <laughs> integrate the integral of 9x all right done with my first class on to go teach the second class so I'm gonna start with homework problem 22 from 9.2 Two. Just got done with my second teaching class. I'm about to go get some lunch and then head to office hours. Quick bite of Panda Express before my office hours start. Just wrapped up office hours, had two students today. Gonna go home, do some lecture writing and some studying. So this is what my desk looks like when I'm writing lectures and studying. Day two, my Tuesday and Thursday schedule. Three one and a half hour classes back to back. Making pancakes today. Got the coffee. Day two, walk to school. Yeah, so I arrived a little early to class, waiting for classes. Yeah, so I gave you, I think everybody, I already said that I gave you an updated, a corrected set of notes for chapter one, and now, and today we're going to be starting chapter two. And if you have a homotopy equivalence, then you, then that induces a group isomorphism. Got done with my first class, now I'm in my second class. Plus you can find your 
Okay, so um, let's get started. I have three topics today uh, to cover. The first is short. Very quickly, here's another class of measures on the full two shift. Very important class called the class of Bernoulli measures. So I'll just define them, and we'll come back to them when we discuss notions of mixing in a little while. What is the full two shift? So we wrote this out as sigma sigma last time, right? So I'll remind you about this in words and then we'll define the measures, right? So remember, the full two shift sigma sigma was the following. So cap sigma is the space of all bi-infinite sequences of zeros and ones, right? And small sigma is the left shift on that space of bi-infinite sequences, right? Okay, so we know from last time how to Apologize this space. Um, and we know that for every periodic point in here. I just finished my second class on the way to my third class. Let's hope that he lets me record. I saw your message day before yesterday, but I forgot to respond and I totally forgot. I just oh, okay. remember it this that's okay. morning. Yeah, that's okay. No worries. Yo, yo. Be on the video? No. <laughs> All right. Well, he's not just got done with my last class. That professor did not let me record the lecture, which is okay and totally understandable. On my home to do some more studying. 